folks, we're back from PTG and I get to show you the crappie brakes. I'm so excited to share the experience. This is my first experience with the crappie brakes and uh, I'm gonna give you an honest review. They're on my boat, they're ready for the Elite Series and we're gonna go through some things that's gonna happen in 2023 just to get this episode started. Let, let, let me show you these crappie brakes. All right, so this is a game changer as far as I'm concerned. Old Trex, game changer. Live Scope, game changer. Crappie Brakes, game changer. Check it out, folks. Here they are, the install. Now, I'm gonna go a little bit more in depth once we get out in the water. And we are gonna catch fish in this episode because I wanna show you what they do. I wanna know what they're capable of doing. I've been in like one boat that's had them and that's it. So this is gonna be my first experience on my boat with the crappie brakes. Thanks for watching. We're about to get this episode started. It is gonna be fun. Crappie brakes, baby. All right, before we get started, let's talk about 2000, 2022. What a great year. We did an incredible job, even on the tournament trail, but also for our sponsors and for teaching everything there is about crappie fishing. I love doing these type of videos, teaching about new technology. And last year, I think we posted possibly on every platform every single day about something or another. And we really feel like, you know, three pound fishing moves the needle for a lot of companies, but also for people that wanna learn techniques and anything crappie basically, just like we're gonna go over today, I can't wait. 2023 is gonna be an exciting year. One of the biggest changes, I will not be with Ozark Rods moving forward. And I'll tell you what, they had a change of ownership. It was just a great opportunity for me to kind of move in my own direction in regards to rods. And there's a lot more coming, obviously, on that as well. So we've got new sponsors. The original Fish Formula is going to be our key sponsor for the Crappie Masters Elite Series. Now, these are all new lakes, folks. So everybody that sends me the comments and they say, hey, how do you find fish on a new lake? This is the year on three pound fishing for you because most of these lakes, I've never fished. We're gonna go there, we're gonna do episodes every single day, pre-fishing, during the event, and we're gonna be sharing that experience with you guys. So I think it's just like, it's a, it's a match made in heaven with the original fish formula, bait pop, great products. We're going out there experiencing this and it's just gonna be the elite players in the crappie industry are gonna be there. For the most part, that is what the top, these 50 teams will be. And there's a lot more that's gonna be posted on the Crappie Masters Elite Series, of course. We're gonna be part of it, and I can't wait to share that with you guys. Um, a lot of other great companies. I'm not gonna go into every one of them, but you know, I love PTG Outdoors for electronics. Cornfield Fishing Gear, can't say enough good things about them. Um, there's just so many, I don't even wanna go into it. I'm gonna save that for other episodes. We're here to talk about crappie breaks. We're talking about a game changer. So come on, check this out. Now, one of the first things you have is you have a choice between a 40 thrust and a 30 thrust. You basically could probably put anything you wanted, I would assume, but I know that the primary options are 30 and 40 on these trolling mars. I went with the 40s. I got a heavy boat. I felt like it was the best choice for me. Let me show you how we have this rigged up in my boat in my battery compartment, because I think a lot of people are gonna ask about that. We've got some switches down here, right here. All I have to do is throw these two switches, turn on my trolling motors, and that bad boy, they are on right now, okay? I'm gonna go ahead and turn all the power on the boat. Those guys are ready to go. Now watch this. All we have to do is come up here, hit this stomp button. Well, we're gonna lower them first. There they go. Down in the water, that's all you need. We're gonna hit this stomp button. Ooh, I can feel it. There it is, they're moving us, big time. You can see the little ripples. Now, what does that do for us? When we're chasing a crappie, when we're coming up on a brush pile, and you know you have to do that reverse thrust, drives me nuts, you're always kind of hoping that that crappie is still there, that eliminates that. Those will be down always. All you have to do is hit that pedal, check it out. Very important, right here. Now, I don't know if this is gonna be the final location for it. Because I really know that my left foot is always over here. So I think I'm going to probably move it over here. Probably, I'll kind of probably keep my power pole pe pedals the same place. But I'll probably adjust that location. 
and then you're not back flushing the crappie the entire time crappie breaks now i get them at ptg and i think they're fantastic they do a great job of installation and i know they're one of their premier installers of the crappie breaks again that's what they look like in action there's also very important a waterproof gasket that i know they kept pointing out to me right here i'll bring that back up so you guys can see it and the installation is just absolutely seamless now other questions i've had when you're going down the road do you secure them i think what i'm going to do is i'm going to put a bungee cord around the power pole that way they're not flapping a little bit because you know the tail end of a power pole isn't exactly the tightest thing so i'll probably go ahead and put a bungee cord when i'm rolling down the road but i can tell you that on the lake not going to worry about it i won't have the bungee cord on there because i don't want to forget that it is on there they will go on multiple different power poles and the wrap they will not go on talons those extend through the tubes but power poles and raptors you're good to go all right folks so here's a uh, real good close-ups of the crappie brakes again i have power pole uh, blades 10 footers and i'll tell you what it just was a great install it's very clean that's what i like about it. it's not sitting on the back of the deck of your boat and uh, they seem to operate the same nothing seems to change i can still use my power poles even so but a lot of those questions are going to be answered in this episode so stay tuned because throughout this episode more facts are coming all right enough about that let's go catch some fish let's see if these bad boys really work and they do what they say they're going to do game changer i'm excited this is going to be big time for me all right folks i'm excited about this so obviously right off the bat i can tell you that i want to move this pedal over here to the left just like i had mentioned before that's not a problem it's simply two screws i'll probably do that tomorrow that seems like the smart idea now i would say that once we start searching for fish we don't necessarily have to have those paddle poles down yet um, but perhaps if i know we're going to be single we're in the area vicinity then i probably would have them down already obviously so i can get going but right now since we're on my home lake I think the plan is just to wait till we get to an area that I typically can find some fish pretty quick. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and lower them down. Just about that. Yeah, a little bit further. Right there. So now they're lowered to where I want them to be. We're gonna look for fish. Ooh, there it is, folks. Good fish. Look at this guys. Coming up right here. Good size tank right there, boys. <laughs> Good first fish of this episode. Check that out. That is a hammer right there, boys. Crappie breaks and hammers, they go together. Let me, uh, we might save this one for picture. This is a good fish on my home lake. Hold on. All right. So let me just show you real quick, and then we're gonna go back to crappie breaks. I got some really important things I wanna tell you about them. Um, sniping braid, check it out. The optimized 10 pound, the uh, Meteor 12 pound, snipingbraid.com, incredible. This is a prototype rod that's going on right now. And three pound fishing jigs, 30 second ounce jig, paddle tail, can't get any better. Now, the number one question I think is gonna be asked about these crappie breaks, real quick is that yes you can still use your paddle poles i have had them down i tried them out here there's ample room at the bottom before the props you can still use them they still sink in the mud i tried that out kind of looked at the mud identified that it was it was easy peasy still can work i understand that you can still use your paddles if you have paddles for, for your power pro uh power poles um but I honestly, I'll bring them to the tournaments and see if there's really any point of that. I just don't think there is. What's interesting is I feel like I can maneuver my boat better. Like I have choices now in terms of which way I want this boat to swing. And that's something I'm getting used to. Also, I'm getting used to not back flushing the fish. I've done it already like three times. I've actually, act, you know, I forget that I have these and I'm back flushing the fish. So I know that's just a, a part of the process, but let's catch another fish. And these fish are really up just sunbathing. They're they're really shallow you can see that water temperature right there of 52 degrees so um they're kind, they're kind of a finicky bite but man when they hit it they hit it hard that guy really hit it hard 
All right, we're hooked up again. Oh, he got off. Oh my gosh. Now I did go ahead and put, the, I did just go ahead and put the power poles down. Let me just show you what that looks like when you have them down with the crappie brakes on. Yeah, you just really can't tell, but there's a good, what you can tell is that there's a good three feet below, maybe that's three feet, but it's pretty close, um, below the crappie brakes. And uh, again, I went with the 40 pound thrusters. I just feel like more's better. Do I think you need more? No. I mean, I there's a good 10 mile an hour wind and it was pushing me to a bank and I was able to put these down and thrust against it and keep myself back off the bank and able to fish those fish. I've never done that before. That's incredible. I really enjoyed that. I can imagine where you're running up against a crappie and just being able to tap that button, it backs you off just enough. So kudos to crappie brakes. Check out PTG. They're definitely, they did the entire install. You guys can check out other videos like on TikTok and et cetera that I've put together on Facebook, on Instagram. And it's all about PTG. Those guys, I'm telling you, they, they've got it going on. I'm just gonna tell you, I'm, I mean, straight up. Um, great install, clean, I think it was two hours. So they're absolutely allowed me to steer this boat in a different way. I'm having to learn it without a doubt, but it, it's definitely giving me another tool to catch crop. good fish they never look as big on the uh, camera but that's a nice solid eater mm, man all right guys I'm gonna leave you with that great fish today without a doubt let them go as always let them grow crappie breaks check them out PTG outdoors I'll leave the information on the screen I'm sure I've given it to you already great company they do a great install they also can just ship them to you crappie breaks that's what I got they're gonna be a big part of the success of 2023 on the Crappie Masters Elite Series. Uh, really proud to be a part of that, and uh, I just think it's the best trail around. It's gonna be the best tournament trail uh, in terms of anglers and all that good stuff. So stay tuned, folks. A lot coming from Three Pound Fishing, and I appreciate you. Please subscribe. Have a great one, guys.